With off-season acquisitions, players recovering from injury, and movements from other teams, the chances of victory for some underperformers last year are beginning to look much brighter. Are the Atlanta Falcons ready to win? I would say no. Going from worst in your division one year to first the next is a difficult and rare feat. But hey, we've seen crazier things happen. Let's rank the eight last place teams from 2020 based on their chances of winning their division in 2021. Number eight, Detroit Lions. Truth be told, there's next to no chance that the Lions win the NFC North in 2021. We're just being realistic here. The team is in year one of a full-scale rebuild. They have a brand new front office and coaching staff. Matthew Stafford, who brought this team a few extra wins each year, was swapped out for Jared Goff and some draft picks. Goff is no slouch himself, but with a very thin supporting cast around him, it's gonna be tough to score points. The Lions also had a horrifically bad defense in 2020, allowing 32.4 points per game. They didn't make very many changes to that unit. Simply put, it's gonna be another year of pain in the Motor City. Even if Aaron Rodgers gets traded and the Green Bay Packers become an afterthought in the division, the Minnesota Vikings are ready to take back the NFC North. Or, you know, the Justin Fields-led Chicago Bears may sneak away the division crown. These Lions are a trendy pick to finish with the top selection in the 2022 draft. And there's a reason for that. This team isn't going to be competitive. And even if the NFC North isn't as tough compared to previous years, the Lions are the least likely to go from worst to first. Number 7. Cincinnati Bengals this isn't so much a knock against the Bengals. It's more about the fact that they play in a division that featured three playoff teams in 2020. If they were in a weaker division, we'd have the Bengals much higher on this list. I mean, Joe Burrow and the offense give Bengals fans good reason to be optimistic about 2021. Rookie Jamar Chase joins a stacked group that includes Joe Mixon, T. Higgins, and Tyler Boyd on offense. Burrow and the Bengals will light up the scoreboard, no doubt. But the Bengals also have a very leaky defense. Even if Trey Hendrickson pans out, they still lost Carl Lawson and standout corner William Jackson III. And the offensive line remains a big area of concern. Part of us really wishes the Bengals took Panay Sewell over Chase, for the sake of Burrow's health. Even if it comes together for Zach Taylor and company, can you really see this Bengals team beating out the powerhouse Baltimore Ravens, the rapidly improving Cleveland Browns, and an always competitive Pittsburgh Steelers franchise? We sure don't. Those three teams have greater balance on both sides of the ball compared to the Bengals. We wouldn't be overly shocked if the Bengals flirted with a winning record in 2021, but they have a long way to go in catching up to their three rivals in the AFC North. Number 6. New York Jets The AFC East could very well be the NFL's toughest division in 2021. The Buffalo Bills are coming off a 13-win season and an AFC Championship appearance. The Miami Dolphins won 10 games despite mediocre quarterback play. And the New England Patriots should rebound following their first losing season in 20 years. But we wouldn't fully discount the Jets' chances of surprising in 2021. Robert Sala is a far more qualified coach than Adam Gase. His passion, energy, and motivational tactics will do a lot of good for this rebuilding team. The Jets signed Carl Lawson and Sheldon Rankins to bolster a front seven that's anchored by Quinton Williams and C.J. Mosley. This unit, coached by one of the game's top defensive minds, can totally reach top 10 status. The Jets also went to work in fixing the group around rookie quarterback Zach Wilson. He'll quickly learn to appreciate the young blocking tandem of Elijah Vera Tucker and Mackie Becton. Corey Davis, Elijah Moore, Denzel Mims, and Jamison Crowder lead a pretty deep receiving core, and Michael Carter and Tevin Coleman combine to form a dangerous running back duo. There's a lot of ifs here, but if the Jets' defense can come together, and if Wilson breaks out immediately and leads a formidable offense, maybe, just maybe, the Jets outlast the other three horses in the AFC East. It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Like we said, crazier things have happened. Number 5. Philadelphia Eagles we're projecting the Eagles to be one of the worst teams in 2021, a bona fide contender for a top three selection. But they fall into the number five spot here because fortunately, they play in what is easily the NFL's worst division. Washington needed just seven wins to claim the NFC East last year. Their main concern was the quarterback position. All four NFC East teams have plenty of flaws. The Eagles can at least get excited about new head coach Nick Sirianni, who should make the most of Jalen Hurts and rookie wideout Devonta Smith. If Hurts is the real deal, scoring points won't be a problem in Philly. And who knows, it might 
just take seven or eight wins to claim the crown. Winning the division is definitely not out of the question for the Eagles. Number four, Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay, some of you are probably wondering how we can have the Jaguars this high when they're just a season removed from a one-win campaign with a rookie quarterback and a new head coach who has zero NFL experience. Well, for starters, that rookie quarterback is generational prospect Trevor Lawrence, and that rookie head coach is Urban Meyer, a three-time national champion. Also, it's not like the AFC South is ridiculously loaded or anything. The Houston Texans are probably the worst team in the NFL right now. The Indianapolis Colts could totally flop if Frank Wright can't fix Carson Wentz. And the Tennessee Titans still have a lot of weaknesses on the defensive side of the ball. Lawrence might just step in and light up the league right away. Meyer might not need much time, if any, before he figures out how to win in the NFL. Oh, and should we mention that the defense has three young building blocks in CJ Henderson, Clavon Chason, and Josh Allen? The Jags have some other intriguing pieces as well. James Robinson, Travis Etienne, Walker Little, Marvin Jones, DJ Chark, Miles Jack, and Shaquille Griffin all possess some game-changing abilities. When you look at the talent level of this roster, double-digit wins and a division title suddenly doesn't seem so crazy. The Jaguars will need a lot to go their way, but they certainly have a better chance at going worse to first than half the teams on this list. Number three, Denver Broncos. We were so tempted to put the Broncos near the very bottom of the list because they share the AFC West with the powerhouse Kansas City Chiefs. But if the stars align, might Denver claim their first division title since 2015? Don't rule it out entirely. Yes, the Chiefs are the class of the NFL right now, but they're always just an injury or two away from being very beatable. As for the Broncos themselves, they have the makings of a top five defense. Von Miller is back after missing all of last season. He and Bradley Chubb could very well form the league's best pass rushing duo in 2020. The secondary is absolutely loaded. They signed veteran standouts Kyle Fuller and Ronald Darby before drafting can't miss prospect Patrick Sertan II. And we haven't even mentioned Bryce Callahan, who was quietly one of the NFL's elite corners in 2020, or Justin Simmons, who has quickly grown into a superstar safety in the Mile High City. Of course, it's not just the defense that has us excited. Sure, the quarterback situation is a weak weakness right now, with Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater expected to battle it out for starting duties. But uh, some guy by the name of Aaron Rodgers wants out of Green Bay, and Denver seems to be a popular pick when guessing where he'll land. After all, the Broncos do make perfect sense as a trade destination for Rodgers. They have young assets, draft capital, and a glaring need at quarterback, after they surprisingly passed on taking one with the ninth overall pick at the draft. Whoever is the quarterback in Denver, they'll have a deep group of skill position guys to work with. We're talking Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Noah Fant, and Melvin Gordon III, just to name a few. From the defense, to the skill position guys, to the possibility of Aaron Rodgers, you'd be foolish to count out these Denver Broncos, even in a loaded AFC West. Number 2. Atlanta Falcons the Falcons took a rather interesting approach this offseason. Rather than rebuild entirely, they hired former Titans offensive coordinator Arthur Smith as the new head coach, obviously hoping that he can help unlock the MVP version of Matt Ryan. Rather than draft Matty Ice's successor with the number four pick, the Falcons took Kyle Pitts, an absolute freak of nature who has the tools to become one of the greatest tight ends of all time. Seriously, he's that good. Their chances of winning the division did take a hit, however, when the Falcons traded Julio Jones to the Tennessee Titans for draft picks. At any rate, the Falcons offense will be dangerous with Ryan Pitts, Calvin Ridley, and Russell Gage leading the way. Smith turned Ryan Tannehill into a star, so who's to doubt his ability to get the absolute best out of Matt Ryan? There are holes all over this defense. There's no way of sugarcoating it. But if Atlanta has any chance at getting to the playoffs, it'll be the offense that guides the way, plain and simple. Number one, San Francisco 49ers. There really isn't debating this one. The 49ers went from a Super Bowl 54 appearance in 2019 to last place in the NFC West a year ago. But come on now. This team was hit hard by injuries in 2020. Nick Bosa suffered an ACL tear in week two. Jimmy Garoppolo missed 10 games. Richard Sherman suited up for just five contests. George Kittle missed half the season. So better health alone makes the 49ers a legitimate Super Bowl contender for 2021. Their big move this offseason was trading 
trading a bundle of picks to Miami so they can move up and take Trey Lance third overall. Jimmy G will likely open up as the starter, but at least San Fran has its QB of the future in place here, as well as a steady backup option. The 49ers play in football's toughest division. The Los Angeles Rams look like the team to beat after adding Matthew Stafford. The Seattle Seahawks always seem like they're about to regress, but then they go out and win 10 plus games. And the Arizona Cardinals should be even better in 2021, having added AJ Green and JJ Watt to an already loaded roster. But the 49ers could totally field a top five offense and defense in 2021. Kyle Shanahan is one of the great football innovators, and you can bet the 49ers will be back in contention this year. Without a doubt, San Fran is the top candidate to go from last in their division to first. But hey, which NFL team do you think has the best chance of going from worst to first in 2021? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.